G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 18th of May. And in fact, the daily challenges for the week starting the 18th of May. We're out to kill three sovereign officers today while not being seen. And we have we've got Silence of Vindictive and X Foundry, but we don't start with the melee weapon, which is definitely an interesting one. That X Foundry and Extreme Range Key Cloner could really pay off though. Because potentially you just get enough key clones to get through a whole ship. I didn't check what pod we got. Just a regular. Okay. So we go down to the legs of the blade. And what do we got? Yep, sure. Targets there. Probably should have paid more attention to what was on the ship too. But I didn't. So... Them's the breaks sometimes, I guess. Wow. wow. Just not doing well at that at all today. Right, so we're basically just gonna run for him. Extreme range means we can probably steal his key. So we're gonna run for this, I should say. Um, yeah. In the meantime, I'm just gonna ignore everything and not return to Pud. No, no, no. Return to Pud. Stop promoting. So the only actual key we need is this one. That's it. Might as well. Yeah, cool. So I was right, that absolutely avoided any sort of problem with that. And this is even assassinate, which means what we want to do is we want to get their gun. Which we want to get anyway because we want... Uh, another weapon for this next room. So we're definitely going to grab this item. Probably should have shot him anyway, no. I really didn't want to have to deal with that. Um, thank you. So, shot quick fire actually is relevant. I should, probably shouldn't scoff at it. Stop. So here we just pop you. Pop you. And pop you. <laughs> Shot across the bowels. So it looks like he dropped a quick, a quiet concussive shotgun. Honestly, I do not think we need another one other than for role playing reasons. So we're deactivating the sentry so I don't get shot. We're shooting this gun. But I guess I'll take that because a quick fire gun is still better than a regular gun. I think we picked ourselves up a uh, game. Sure would be good if you responded. Yeah we totally did. Alrighty, so that was a fairly disappointing haul. I wouldn't have bothered going for the shotgun if I had known what it contained. Well, for the crate, which contained the shotgun. If I'd known that it would just be a shotgun. Alrighty, so we'll take that because it is marginally useful. Now, here we are. Target fleas, mini guns. We don't have a way of setting off the alarm beyond blowing up an engine, which we, you know, let's take a look at the ship. Maybe we do just blow up the engine. Um, unfortunately, wait, no, there we are. So we just go in, we blow up, say, that engine if we can, maybe this one, and we keep running. That'll set off the alarm, sending him from here to here. Maybe we don't set off the engine then. Uh, we can crash it if we need to, actually, so 
No, I think I'd rather move the target. Even if, uh, you know, there's a risk there that we have to use a crash uh, trap. I mean, we should note that we are trying to avoid being seen, and thus far we haven't really got any gear that will help with that problem. So, oof, that could have been quite bad. Okay. So, we're going to run through here. Assassinate target has... Okay, yeah. So, we're going to avoid setting off this alarm. We're going to run around through here. Take this guy out. And then run down. And we'll crash him. So, we just basically leg it straight for here. But we'll probably throw something down, just to be sure. Let's throw the crash beam downward. Yeah, we're definitely not setting off the alarm prematurely. Because getting down there is going to be a pain in the neck as it is. There we go. Okay. So then it's just a matter of going and stealing this key. And then we just pop in. Shoot you. Give us a sword, thank you. That will help. Considering very seriously, I might go for the exit. Um, emergency shield is actually one of the least useful items. Yeah, I think with that, I really want to go for. Okay, what we do is we stab here, we shoot you, we take this sword. This should give us enough to dash bash. We take this sword. Make it sort of clear that uh, I guess we shoot this guy. And then we get a dash bash our way to gear. Maybe I should have attacked someone with a key as well, but... There we go. Visitor, that's definitely coming with us, uh, I guess, over that. Remote pod to come in front of here. Stop. Shoot it out with this. Let's just, uh, we got the quick fire shot again. 
Okay, now we leave. All right, so that was 20 seconds, 19 seconds total. Um, I think that's justified though, because we really, so we're way more likely to encounter shielded enemies here. We got three swords from it, which means that we can actually dash bash, which dramatically reduces the chances that we will be seen. Um, yeah, yeah, we do this. Okay, target flees. We don't have a way of subverting. Right. We've got a visitor for either bypassing an area. Oof, that was way too close. Okay, so here we're definitely going for the secure entrance. And then our target. So we can definitely distract by killing someone. There's our telepad. So yeah, we're absolutely going to murder someone and or blow up an engine. Biggest threat would be having a shielded guard right at the entrance. Which we do not. Oh, we've even got heat sensors. So we can super easily do this. So oh, there's a tracker. Tracker is a big problem though. We may need to crash the tracker. So let's see. We're going to basically steal this key and then just dash bash this way which actually means that this is one of the least optimal doors to have gone for but it's still better than the other one one two three four five six seven go through here we should have set off the alarm before that point you'll be coming this way and then you're nice and spread out um, hopefully we'll have had the thing regen by that point. Okay, so let's start. Yep, sure. So we are going to dash up here. So I could try to distract you or I could just go for it. That was definitely the right plan. Deactivate. Come on. I still have a key. Yeah, cool. Here, I actually want to enter and leave line of sight. Like this. Perfect. Steal that key card. Now, stab this guy. Shoot this one. One. Hmm. No, no, we should be able to get away with this. Buddy, there we go, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. That was um, cutting a bit closer than I would like. Uh, how are we doing on you? you way too much time left to so that means we need to dash this way you're coming for us okay target is there target is there right by you missed that <laughs> perfect um i guess we gotta rely on line of sight for that too I guess I'm going to dash closer, but not closer enough. 
that makes sense. Like this. There we go. Get the key card. is we visit down. So I think it's a pretty good option. What we do is we dash down like this. We visit down like this. We need to crash both of you. Cool. I mean not that useful, but cool nonetheless. <sighs> useless to me. Dash downward like this. Okay, now. Shoot you. Crash you. Give me a gun I can aim. Shoot you. Shoot out this. Remote. I got seen right at the end there. That's frustrating. That's a pain. Well, 495 it is. Or oh, possibly 490. Ah, it must have been the captain. Should have dash bashed down and um, given him less time to see me. Yeah, 490. Okay, time taken. King Redbeard was behind by 24 seconds. So I definitely could have gotten there. Um, all right, today, or yesterday, 30 seconds. So I had a better time. No, I didn't. <laughs> I died on chip two. Oh, mm, yeah, so well done, Derek Will, on that one. Um, not sure what my time would have been. I don't think time gets accurately counted um, when you die mid mission. Ah, well. Good job, Derek Will, there. Anyway. All right. That is it for today. I'll see you in a moment with tomorrow's daily. G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. We're out to kill three sovereign officers while avoiding alarms. It's the 19th of May and we're weak. We're ex-sovereign. Got a silencer. So that'll help with avoiding alarms actually. It's one of the few times that actually silence is quite nice. I'm a piercing rifle but we've got supply and we've got a brick. So, the key thing is to avoid using the brick. Doesn't matter how good an idea it might be, don't brick. What we're going to, in fact, be doing is trying to avoid pods where possible. Because um, shields, real bad for us here. We can deal with one pod because of our uh, starting gear. Ah, come on. Okay. So we steal that and we try and just leg it and then we can get the cam and then yeah we gotta just save that okay cool think that'll work so we take out the captain by throwing something at him um, we steal that key is the plan if we can but if I can't get it here which I can't am I gonna get it no Hmm, that's a problem. Wait, no, I've got three charges. I don't need to worry about that aspect. So we just steal this key. Goal is to literally just leg it. 
Right, I think you may spot us. Yeah, you will. But that's okay, because we should break it. Yeah, break line of sight. And then we can... Throw this. And shoot... This guy. See if we can get you back. We want to head down this way. I guess we want to head over here actually. And we can shoot you as well. Are you kidding me? Being shot is mildly inconvenient. I want to get the gear, so I'm actually going to do this. Well, that's inconvenient. Pick it up, throw you this way, kill you, return to pod. All right, let's do the other dumb thing, right? Uh, I guess we just shoot this way. Wait, I can't. Hmm. This is a very dumb thing. I'm wasting a whole bunch of time on it. Um, I feel like I'm going to do it anyway. Because I already wasted the time, really. So, let me open this up. Extreme room subverter. Okay, well, I guess that was an exchange. Kidding me. Dodging that was uh, less than ideal. Alright, well, that's like 40 seconds. Wow. Yeah, 40 seconds. 39 seconds. Close enough. That's probably <laughs> what a lot of my opponents will use for two ships, so that's probably not going to pay off. Here we just go through and murder everyone. Uh, anything in there? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I wonder actually if that will be a way of dealing with the... Oh shit, I left too early. Problem. Yeah, I think about it. Um, right, you. So the target is there, we want to run in there. Yeah, cool. Probably deal with things the same way, which is to say we want to uh, kill everyone that we can, steal what keys we can. Um, I hope for maybe a slipstream or something. Uh, come up my ducks today. Uh, not working. Um, so this one we just steal a key on the way down. Um, I guess we just say go here. Defender, ah, but we can subvert. Uh, so I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going down this way. So, for safety's sake, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck that. And 
here, we're going to subvert. We're going to shoot this person. We're going to shoot their actual target. Perfect. That's super perfect, in fact. before he realizes and takes it. Don't think he can, but he might. Then, so we've got a visitor, which is a convenient way to leave the ship. Might as well grab it while I'm at it. Um, we definitely want the automatic shotgun. The fact it's loud is kind of irrelevant. And an extreme range swapper is super perfect. So, shoot this. And then leave. Alright, so, like I said, extreme range swapper and a visitor and uh, all the other, and the subverter and everything, we should be good regardless of the status of our enemy. We should be able to skip a good chunk of the ship. Yeah, should be pretty decent for this final ship. Okay, random stuff. Uh, normally I'd be happy to see target fleas in this kind of a mission, but here it's kind of useless. So we've got a secure dock here, which we will either swap our way in, we'll subvert, or we'll steal the key. We're definitely using that. There's our target right by the captain. And you got glitch dash, which means we can pull you away. Um, yeah, cool. All right, yeah. Okay, so here we want to back up. So keeping in mind, we do not want to crash into the ship. Right? This is, in fact, the worst possible daily in which to crash the ship. Are we seriously in this position where we actually can't steal a key uh, or swap? We could swap with you, surely. Yeah. <laughs> Cos. Um. So I mean, swapping is easy. Oh, right. We can always swap. That's the thing. We're getting about. Um. So what we do? We subvert, we run through, we subvert, if we subvert both of these doors, we can just leave completely. The trick is to make sure that it goes through both doors. There we go. Okay. The only problem is that we've got to kind of deal with both sets of uh, guards. We've got to kill absolutely everyone. Okay, now I can ignore this friend. Deactivate that. Or we could just ignore them and steal the key, which is even better. Okay, so it's still got that swapper. If we can get to there, we can swap with the captain, which will let us completely murder everyone. So here is our goal. It doesn't even matter if you turn. I don't think you are. But that's all good. Here we just murder everyone we encounter. Okay, so the trick here is going to be putting line of fire, good. So here we just steal your key, and then we can select that. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, you know what? Actually, even if it doesn't work, we visit and then we do it, and then we leave. In which case, we'll visit to here, right? 
um, or visit and swap with one of these guys shooting them. Um, I do want to take out the captain in this process though. Good. So we avoided the line of fire there. Which means I can go through here and you turn and die. Sorry mate. Just how it's gotta be. What I should be doing is taking advantage of this time to move up to here. So ideally I'd like to be able to visit out into my ship. But oh yes, there we go. Alright, alarm is off. Shoot you. Shoot you. Swap army. Swap with you. Remote the brick this way. Visit just to here. There we go. Got picked up. Leave. Okay, so that was 20 seconds. That was a slow daily. I guess that's what happens when you're weak. Um, and also when you mess around a bit too much on chip one. So, 596. And I'm currently first. Because it looks like uh, King Redbeard set off the alarm on one of those ships. And I'm sure that messed things up. Uh, but I doubt that... Uh, I would have kept it. I still, I had the fastest time yesterday. And the thing is, if I had not hit the captain on ship three, I would have been fine. My problem there was I didn't uh, avoid the captain more. And I could have done that. It might have slowed me down by a whole second. I don't think it would have slowed me down by an entire second, but it could have. So, oh. I should, I guess, try and keep in mind that um, since I'm putting these all up in one lump, I should probably save th such uh, kind of wrap-ups for the end of the week anyway. All right, and that's it for today. I'll be back in a moment with tomorrow's daily. G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 20th of May. We're out to kill three people while not setting off alarms. We're a technophobe today. Uh, we're ex off world, which could be handy since we've actually got the concussive shoddy. I guess we'll see what the glitches bring, eh? I'm trying to get this done fairly quickly because I do want to go to bed. Uh, Defender, of course, Defender is what we should see in the very first of the ships. I should check. Okay, yep, cool. Go. You the one that's defended? No. So it's up or down? Up. Oh, right. So we are going down. And this also lets us get that item. No, it doesn't because the key's in a terrible spot. So it only lets us risk it for an item if we believe in need for it. Oof, this is a real bad ship layout, isn't it? Alright, but we can at least dash bash. Oh, you're loud. We don't have a silencer, so... Quite relevant until we kill a couple of you. So the question is, is it faster to, well actually here, I, because of the timing. Ok, 
Okay. So we gotta go down there. I can skip this lot. Or I could just keep going. Um, oh, you go you're gonna bring a key toward me? Then I'll skip this first item. For sure. So we're going to go through this group because I think it is faster than not doing so by a very small margin. such a short distance is that it actually does not um, let me slow down time on short distances which means unless I pause basically shortly after but not too shortly after I run it I get into trouble Kidding me, right? Good. Okay, I'll actually definitely take that. That uh, gives me a noiseless gun. Perfectly timed. Okay, cool. So we got the most important item of all, which is to say we got a slipstream now. So avoiding alarms is so much simpler. We just need to be faster. Okay, cool. Next ship. We're gonna take this over the loud gun. We've already got one loud weapon. Okay armor piercing so we're gonna need to get right up to you and kill you um, well what we might do is we might actually use a visitor along with our slipstream okay let's see so we're there the captain is right by our target in fact our target is literally right on top of the cap so if we can visit in to um, here we're not ex glitches, so we're only going to get to like. Yeah, mm. We should still be able to make it through in one visit, I reckon. If we do things right. It's a bit ambitious, but we've made it further in other ships, so. get to here one option 
is to literally we leg it to here we visit we seal that key we run down through here so how far we don't go that far but we go far enough i reckon we can make it through to at least hit you um the trick is to shoot both of you um but hit you a second time all right not going to get anywhere by being afraid of it. Okay, run for it. Okay, so start by shooting you. No one else is within range. Good. You. Wish I had thought that through more. Can I shoot you like this? Worst case scenario is we use another visit, by the way. Give this back. Ooh, that is an interesting one. Again, I would not have anticipated that. Okay, so we need to shoot you. Just shot. And now I pay for that. Okay, so that could have been three seconds faster or more if I had planned that out better. Including literally just being a little bit more patient with the visit. Like if I had been, uh, if I'd visited slightly further and avoided one more corner, that would have gone from uh, almost to actually achievable. Okay, target please, jammer, shields. We don't actually have a way of dealing with shields. So we're going to need to disable the alarm and then set off things. Um, okay, so let's see some. You do not have a key. That would have been convenient. Right, so we're going to pop here. We're going to try and run through. Um, Engines, there's a couple. Captain, captain. The thing about glitcher ships is the captain can be anywhere. We're actually going to go here so we can go for the captain and disable the alarm. I 
think it's a better choice to go straight for the captain. And then who knows, maybe we'll find some cool gadgets on the way. But our target being shielded when we've got nothing to penetrate shields is definitely a problem. And this is also where we see the fact that Glitch is being the only faction that uses both. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously, you still didn't go then? You jackface. Oh well, Predator right there too. Predator right there. Predator? Okay. <laughs> So this is an interesting dilemma. What we need is we need his sword. We also need the alarm not to be on. So we're gonna leg it to the captain, take out the captain, and then go for the predator, unless this gives us a way of crashing. So we slip, we now need to rush for here. We have a key cloner. can even see this key for efficiency. Okay. Um, in which case I'm also going to get this item. Deactivate. We want to pass through that item. Open this up. Another slipstream. Sure, I'll take it, but I don't care that much here. Okay, so here we steal this key. Throw a visitor at you. There we go. Alarm can no longer go off. So make sure we're passing through there. Okay. Open this up. Emergency shield. Not what we need. So. Yeah, um, wait, where's our target? Target is there. Is it easier to get them to come here so we can assassinate them? I would say yes. Then to go all the way there and then all the way over. So I think what we do is we just... Uh, just leg it. Uh, we do need to make sure we steal this key when we've got the opportunity which may mean we need to adjust planning slightly Is actually quite simple. We need a loud gun like this one. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, do it a slightly easier way. We need to go just here. I said just here. That actually means you go where I tell you to go and not just off that. Try and use my slipstream to get up here anyway. Let's see how long it takes you. Once he's here, I need to go back. So maybe it would have been faster to get a sword. Absolutely run down. 
that's kind of fascinating to see that look I mean see they've even slowed down don't care really do not care I don't know if I need to charge into them, but I'll do it for the sake of being sure. Thank you. Now I visit into there, and we leave. So the lesson there is actually, geez, I could have definitely gone straight for the crash blade. I'm not sure that it was actually strictly needed, but it sure bit uh, beat just standing around doing nothing um, but I think the crash blade overall would have been faster and there we go 56 seconds doubt that will stand because Derek was yet to play but I'll save that for kind of an end of week wrap up sort of session Hey and welcome to the heat signature daily for the 21st of May we're here to capture three foundry officers while avoiding while going as quickly as we can uh we are x sovereign uh but we've got a slipstream we've got a glitches tick it's going to be a quick quick daily so this i also happened to stream for a friend on discord so this is post commentary because uh it turns out trying to do an actual commentary plus discussing the game with someone else is a bit confusing so you're gonna see me uh, move things around and do some odd pauses here and there which is uh, not ideal so that was actually me pausing to to start the game up streaming on discord because uh, I really should check if there's just some sort of uh, shortcut for that anyway whatever uh, so obviously slipstream glitcher glitch tick this is just go as quick as you can uh, so I'm evaluating here whether we run through the ship or whether we go around. Uh, I think ultimately uh, because we got the the slipstream uh, and because I'm not very good at swapping in from space, it, generally speaking, uh, and also uh, I would like to get better gear. Uh, I decided to run through the ship, uh, but probably was a mistake. Um, in fact, one of the things here is that I missed getting an item, which I later found out that the item on the ship uh, is, in fact, a extreme rain sidewinder. So if I had gone for gear, going for gear at the top would have been a much better play than what I actually did. Uh, so let's see. I blast him. Don't know why I did that. Uh, oh, right. It was to get an extra shotgun. Blast both of them. So I can then try and get this item as best as I can, right? So blast through both of these. Uh, of course, this one goes completely astray, so lying on that second shot to be useful. And, uh, oh right, I'm also trying to work out if I can swap to get anywhere faster. There we go, got him, get the key, run for it. At some point, oh yeah, key cloner, not the worst. Kind of should be useful in ship three, but uh, what I should be doing right now is either deciding where and when to use the swapper, because I could, for example, swap down into the group down the bottom, or just uh, telling myself to go for it. Oh yeah, this is capture, not kill. So that's one of the things that slows things down a bit, because I need to actually move someone. Uh, you maneuver the ship, run past the target, so that they get hit in the right direction with our melee weapon could swap. Do I swap? I don't think I swap. Yeah. So forgotten the sidewinder here. That could have sped things up further. But ultimately, like in a lot of these, I think the answer is actually more and better than swapping. So here, what I don't think I then thought about was since I'm not a technophobe, I could very well have just uh, run down and swapped with my target. But Nah. So it's taken us three seconds to get to this point, as long as we don't mess the pickup, which I don't think we do. 
Oh, maybe we do. So, let's see. Then we should be okay. Ah, uh, that's right, we just miss, missed a pickup, which means that this goes to like eight seconds. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, and then, yeah, I had to shoot the game paused, so that then worked out less well than I would have liked. Alright, so get there, got the nearest airlock, etc, etc. All good, now we're done. Alright, so, yeah, all up, that took 8 seconds. If I had swapped in from space and done things more optimally, I could have gotten it could have gotten a couple of seconds faster there and still potentially got this, the sidewinder which I did not get here so that's a pity but eight seconds is still pretty damn good pretty damn fast right next ship let's see how we do I think I'm going well now I got a rechargeable swapper I really have no excuse I should just swap in from space um, in fact the other problem here is do I have the gear to deal with them I don't remember if I looked I was just right. So yeah, here the advantage is of course we do get to see what's on the ship. I can try and see a path, but none of these paths look great. So it's just like let's swap in from space and swap with our target. Looking at these options. Trying to see this through. I'm pretty sure I swapped with at least one of the targets. I'm just not that keen on swapping in from space in general. No, it's a different daily that I swap in from space. Huh. Not even sure if I ever thought about swapping in from space here then. Uh, and I think part of that is because I know I'm bad at it. But also because when you got a slipstream, you can conceivably do as well with a slipstream from inside the ship. But I feel like that's more true of assassinations rather than uh, any other type of mission, right? So capture is comp is more complicated by the fact you've got to actually pick up your target and drag them over. Uh, all right, yeah, I realized, hang on a minute, I do actually have to go up unless I can swap with someone. I could have swapped with the captain now, I think about it. I'm not sure that would have been optimal either, so. Uh, let's go down. Just going straight for the target. Uh, and then we, I guess the game goes, yeah, down. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. The game does realize that going down is faster. So my big worry here is that some jerk will turn on his shield, and that will cause problems. And that does indeed happen right here. Uh, and thus, I don't actually get to kill that guy. And then it's like, wait, what am I doing? I can, one, steal this key, which is handy, but actually that was dumb. I should have saved the key cloners, uh, because I could just swap with the guy right here, and that's way faster, gets me right over to him immediately, and that's a much better plan. The only problem here is I haven't started moving my ship, so I want to go this way, I want to pick him up, I want to make sure we're using our slipstream, which we're not right now, so I should do that. Use slipstream, run this way. I'm not actually got a slipstream speed right now, which I should probably fix up. But remote the ship, it's very short remote, so I can at least grab them. And then I'm like, look, I should be able to go faster. There we go. And it's just a matter of trying to balance the timing here. There we go, and shoot, and we out in three seconds again. So potentially, if this pickup is better, um, there we go, could get away with it, no, that's four seconds, but we do have the extreme range, uh, key cloner, not key cloner, sidewinder, which should be quite useful, but we could have had two, that would have let us get through ship three so much faster, I think in general, like, as always, what I need to do is actually play heat signature more outside of the dailies. So I can practice some of the basic techniques that come up sometimes in heat in dailies, but are a little bit more complicated, especially when you have to work 
in real time and not slow time and granularly control time. So seven seconds there. I sh I could have conceivably got that in six. Last one I could have gotten six. So, I mean, yeah, there is where we we lose our time. Um, yeah, right. So here, I guess I'm just talking to my companion on, on this and trying to explain how some of the scoring works. All right, so here we've got a slight problem in that we can't hurt anyone. Uh, which means we are stuck with swapping with people. Uh, which is going to be tricky because we're on ship 3, which means we've got to swap inside the ship. Uh, but let's see how we do. I do at least remember, I'm pretty sure, that to check for a secure entry point. Uh, oh man, I know you're doing it. Who's there? I may get days mixed up, but I was there. So there's our secure entrance, so that tells us where we're entering from. And let's do that. Um, yeah, oops, that's right, I was talking to them, <laughs> I was like, oops, uh, I just flung myself into space, because I'm a clever man. Uh, Alright, onward. And you can hear, you can see me hammering the key. There we go. So, we've got the extreme range key cloner, so we can easily just steal the key. We've got slipstream. We basically want to run down. I'm just trying to plan the route. So, um, whether we go up or down, uh, or we do something else. All right, so we've got swappers, so we can definitely swap into one of the packs. Um, we basically bypass the first set. So one of the options here, and what I'm pretty sure I'm going to do, although I'm just checking things out, is I'm going to swap with one of the guards in the second pod. It does occur to me now that it might have actually overall been simpler and faster to run across the top, swap with the captain, and then run down from there, uh, because I could still easily steal a key from either of the other places but it just didn't occur to me that I could swap with the captain um, and that he was accessible from that first section <laughs> second section I guess Ugh. and that would still only require two key thefts let's see how we do Yeah, I've already decided what I'm going to do, so I'm no longer looking at what the other options are. Oh yeah, I've got the Extreme Rain Sidewinder, so um, maybe that was part of what, what it was. Is I can sidewind down to this, swap, sidewind, swap. Yeah, that, that makes some sense. Because th this is a pair of swaps that are quite close together. Yeah, no. My planning is better than I gave it credit for. So, can't reach there, right? That is your biggest downfall is that you, um, one, trying to use the wrong key, uh, can reach there. But trying to use the wrong key, that's really the key problem. Uh, we want to move to the right. We also want to start moving our ship at some point soon. But we wasted like a second trying to figure out what we'd done wrong. Okay, so that's where we target. Um, we're going to remote the ship in the meantime. Obviously, we've already arrived at our destination. So then we want to teleport, swap, and run with Sidewinder. It occurs to me what I could have done is fire the quiet shotgun to thus give me someone to swap back to and then I could have optimized things a little bit but on the other hand I wanted to give myself time for the ship to get there and then hopefully not miss the timing and obviously I was already going to be doing a number of these oh yeah I also realized hang on a minute this is not a good time to swap unless I don't want my target to come out 
so that could have gone much worse. Three seconds, and they had grenades, and let's leave. All right, and there we have it. Reasonably straightforward daily. Definitely could have gone faster. It, I had a couple of things I missed up, some of which were basic execution, some of which is uh, I'm more confident running through a ship than teleporting in from outside and capturing the target. Okay, six seconds. Yeah, that's the kind of time I should have been able to deliver on all three ships. Uh, so this does there put me in first place, but eventually Derry Quill plays and uh, well, you'll see, hear more about that in the wrap up at the end of the week. So we're done here. I'll be back in a moment with the heat signature daily for the 22nd. G'day and welcome to the heat signature daily challenge for the 22nd of May. Okay, I've got an hour and 10 minutes. That's good because it's way too late and I should be in bed. All right, let's get this done. I've got to steal things as quick as we can. Got a sidewinder. <sighs> Any chance the sidewinder will last longer? We're frail. We don't have a melee weapon. Okay. Autopilot, that's what it was. Another brick. Okay, so we pop in, we shoot you, and then we basically leg it from there. Yeah, this is easily the shortest path, so that will be the plan. We just say, head here. Yeah, 40 seconds. Oh wait, we need the key. The key's down here. Are you fucking kidding me? I swear this is... How many times have shotguns betrayed me? Woohoo! Nice. We must have silencer as well. Yeah, we do. You know, reading the uh, challenge explains the challenge, and I realize that. Uh, oh well. Head back this away. Look. Give me this. And then we're basically going to walk in, we're going to shoot, shoot question is do we go for this you know what we go for this we absolutely do let's do that say we want those things ah, are you kidding me Sentry gun. I, I swear, shotguns hate me so much. It's really quite annoying. Give me the key. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going for this, even though it may be a complete waste of time. Stream range key cloner, probably not a complete waste of time, but also not actually useful on this ship. So now I just wait. Trust you immediately start drifting the wrong way.
they always do. Open the crate, what have we got? get away could have used the sidewinded to speed that up I could have not gone for the key cloner um fast as possible yeah actually that extra four seconds is really gonna hurt so I better hope that the key cloner really helps me later on to make up for that five second penalty a five point penalty okay didn't check where you were Does this mean that K said has a couple of times been doing this at 2am? Because, uh, jeez. Alrighty. So here we are just gonna run for it. We should be able to steal at least this key. Then I guess we probably get to save the charges for the last ship. Okay, so we just blast you. This is literally no alarm response. Give me that. Okay. Feels so slow after all of the silliness in other ones. Um, hmm. I guess I'm going there. So this does actually present me with an opportunity. I could sidewind to here to get out immediately. I think I'm better off being able to just do the thing. shoot everyone. If we go up we get the opportunity for an extra item which you know we might as well take. Blast them. Sucks to be you but on the other hand at least you're dead. Okay. Shooting you gives us an item, another sidewinder, okay. teleporter um, that says to me you are a sidewinder no that says to me I misread what you were Okay, can I get away fast enough? Probably not. But it was worth a shot. Alright, another 10 second one. And that one definitely, I mean, could have been sped up more. Ah well. Whew. 
Now, everyone is armored, tracker defender. Okay, so we can kill people, we can use our stealth shield. It's all good. Okay, let's see. We want ideally to use a secure entrance, which of course there is one. Good. Absolutely, completely, awfully wrong. Okay, so here it's pretty straightforward. We're heading this way. We're stealing that key. Oh, there's the. We're sidewinding through here. There's our target. Probably sidewinding through at least this corner, if not more. Problem is the key, so I guess we're sidewinding up here, stealing that key, and then going down, going across and down. Yeah, why not? Um, since we are now out of other bits and pieces, we'll crash you as we approach. Key card. I do need to remember that it's the guards who take out the ones with the freaking keys. Um, okay. Cool, cool, that's why you, I didn't move the ship to start with. So then I just do this and do this. That's fine. The alarm's already off. Where's the key? There's the key. So here I got a stealth shield through. Um, I'm gonna sidewind uh, uh, through there and stealth shield. Okay. Unlock those doors. Okay, then. Open her up. What have we got? Some sort of gun. And just end there. Oh, fuck, I'm, I've lost. I did not anticipate going up. Oh, uh, well, that's a huge pain in the neck, but I'm dead. Like, this is just. Uh, why did I go upward? Yeah. <laughs> dead in multiple ways. Ah, well. Good job, King Redbeard. Um, I would have gotten the same score as you. Don't know that I would have gotten a better time. Maybe. Oh, well. Time to sleep. Bye. G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 23rd of May. We're out to kill three foundry officers while avoiding alarms. And we are both dying and glitch sick. So, we've got a long range crash beam. So one option is totally to swap in from space, crash whoever is setting off the alarm. And I think that's what I kind of got to try for. Even though I'm real bad at this. Not gonna get better if I don't, you know, practice. It's kind of funny because like, I was the one for whom swapping in from space. Uh, I was the one that kind of 
revealed that fairly early on. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely going for that. We crash whoever's setting off the alarm. We shoot, we shoot you. Um, we get a key. Yeah, cool. Ah, oh, bugger. Didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. go. So the good thing is that only one guard sets off the alarm at a time. Remote teleport. Shoot. Deactivate head here. Shoot you as well. There we go. So I mean that took too long and that's what is ultimately going to be the problem here is it just took me too long to do. But we got it. Stop, open, take the subverter. Shoot this out. murder at the end of it all right so 14 seconds so the thing is I could definitely have been done faster we still avoided the alarm we still got some loot yeah all worked out now chuck you in there they fixed this fact that they're alive uh, target flees jammer defender irrelevant so this is relying on the fact that there is always only one guard setting off the alarm. Um, so we can get away with this. Okay, so. Oh yeah, you're dying, that's okay. There is no secure entrance, that's even better. Here is our target. We even just subvert and leave. I'll take that now, thank you very much. So we don't even need to worry about that now. Got him. Here, subvert that door, remote, teleport. We'll take it. Um, shouldn't matter that much, but it's another gun, why not? Stop, open that up. Crash trap, that is actually really nice for us. Okay, ship's unloaded, teleport to nearest airlock, return to pod, ship's unloaded, alright, there's been no time for the alarm to actually stay off, that was less faffing about, got it done in less than 10, good. So I could potentially succeed in that on even on a speed daily. Good, 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 good. I'll check you. Next. Okay, we've got armored guards. Tracker, jammer. Target flees. 
no alarms to be set off. Heat sensors, remember heat sensors. That means we should probably go for the captain. No secure entrance. There are our two heat sensors. Okay, there's our captain. So we ideally want to go that way. Um, with no ability to kick someone out the airlock, hmm, that's going to be a problem. We've got no ability to um, punch through armor. We've got no melee weapons. So it's a bit of a doozy. I guess we'll go to the ship and evaluate. Okay. So we need to crash at least one of you. Probably more than one. And run through. We need to get rid of you somehow. This is autopilot, so you can't even disable the alarm. Uh, crash trap is only three charges. Long range crash beam is four. Hmm. So... We don't actually have a good way of get, going through and doing things like getting keys. I mean, I, what I can do is I can run down here, right? I could visit and get this key. And that would eliminate our key grabbing problems. Uh, almost, in, it actually would completely eliminate our key grabbing problems. So that is less of a bad idea than it might first seem. And then we just need to get through here and crash every last one of you. And then, yeah, all right. So we're gonna go this way. I don't see any reason not to do this. Uh, we might spend precious crash beam on one jerky McJerk face there. Uh, crashing is probably better than other options. visit to here. So the reason why crashing is better is because they... Oh wait, no, they're, they're just searching, not panicked. Um, that, there we go. That gives us all the keys we need. Now we just need to manipulate line of sight. So to do that we want to throw things. Start by throwing that to get him to look up. Thank you. Push it right there. What we're going to do then is we're just going to leg it. We're going to throw the crash trap to get both of them. And we're going to keep running. One of them is crashed already. Means he can't be crashed a second time. Damn it. Okay, crash both of them. Good. In fact, that door is crashed. Why did that happen? Okay, that's bullshit. If that's the case, then we just subvert this and leave. But that sucks. Why did they set off the alarm? These two were had left. They shouldn't have been... Like, under my understanding of the system, these guys shouldn't have ever called for the alarm. No one was hurt. There was no noise that should have set anything off. So nothing should be able to set off that alarm. So that is some fine bullshit. Alright, then we 
just uh, shoot our way away. I mean, I guess I'm going to need to look at the tape, but I don't understand how that alarm went off. We weren't visible. We just do this until our ship comes back. Frustrating that it's like this, honestly. Thing is, I can't remote it because, yeah, of course, it starts drifting the wrong fucking way. Well, that's fine, I guess. There we go. So we win. But I'm infuriated by that. There's no reason why the alarm should have gone off on that last ship. So, good job, everyone else. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, in a moment, tomorrow's daily. G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 24th of May. Last one of the week, we're out to steal three things while not killing anyone. And we've got a cold fire. Yeah, whatever. Conk hammer and the crash beam should be handy. Uh, Subverter also. So, yeah. All good. And we can dash bash. So, this is one of the easier conditions to complete. Uh, what do we got over here? Quick look. No alarm response. Target is up here. Um, okay. What I'm going to start trying to do is... Because I'm pretty sure there's a limited number of layouts here. So this is going to be an open chamber. This is going to be a room pointing downwards. That's my prediction. Let's see if I can, you know, try and guess things from positions. I may have completely not enough information, but I mean, at least with some ship layouts, you've got uh, the turret rooms to help. Not turret, but like ship gun rooms. Ah, missed. No, 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 that's the worst possible miss. Ugh. Okay, open. Ah, uh, well, I got that this was a single room. It's this layout here, we get that key. Okay, cool, cool. Um, there's that, there's no way I'm doing that. So, we use a subverter there, and there. We just use a subverter here, so we can get that key, and just run through. Um, I think we'll probably do that, yeah. I do not feel like running across that, and that's it's already going to be a relatively slow ship. Unlock. And then let's do that. going this way while I remove this a little bit. Don't 
talk about bloodlust right now. Like I've literally not had, not even attacked anyone. Ah, doors are my nemesis. Okay, what are we? Yeah. Oh, glitch trap. Not what we're after here. Do you want to get a noise maker? I'll take both of these. There we go. We can grab one, shoot out the window. Okay, now leave. Okay. All good. 17 seconds. Could have been better, especially if I hadn't completely muffed the uh, starting point there. Okay, drop that off. Next. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need to be careful about where certain things are, gonna need to be careful leaving the station. Uh huh. The target is here. Alright, this is obviously gonna be a straight run. It's five long. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So, security zone one, security zone two, security zone three. Uh, again, we got this, but the question is what the layout's going to be. I really don't. can't think of one. Um, so I guess we'll find out. I mean, yeah, we can tell where the, the security zones are. That's not actually that impressive. Oh wait, no, we got crash beams. Never mind. We're fine. We're totally fine. We're basically just going to charge at them, crash them all when we get to about here. And then we run through. Okay, what is the layout here? You are off path, but I would like to get another item. You do offer me me. Yeah. You do offer me another item, which is good. I kind of got to go here anyway to get that. And I've got no non-lethal way. I have more wrenches. So I should be able to, like, bash, bash, run. Still take you out just in case you attack the window. So I gotta go up here and then this. This. So what I have to say about that? Um, make sure we got the right stuff. Good news is that the sentry gun is pointed the wrong way. Good. That's exactly what I was hoping to do. So then I can crash both of you. So the trick here is making sure that no one shoots anyone at all. Thank you. Okay. So we grab this, we bonk you. Chuck that at you. I'll go this way. We'll take the phone camera. And now we want to keep going towards this. And we need more of these. Always good to have more of them. this just to be sure and another one now one not that one two three I'll take that okay cool 
we are gonna go for this. And since I'm close enough to a door, let's just start this move. Of course. Uh, stop. So then we crash here. did manage to jam it through. Okay, so then I've miscalculated how much crash I had left. Take that back. Let's see how we do, eh? You got no alarm, so that's fine. This is probably the most brazen I've uh, treated one of these guys. Uh, I guess I should be doing this to get away more, more faster. Open up, acid trap. Acid trap's not gonna be that handy. If I did this and then that, <laughs> stop. There we go. It was immensely satisfying, I have to admit, to dodge past that guy. Uh, let's do that. Ironically, my ship is being really quite inconvenient here. Here, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna chuck you, and I'm gonna chuck you, and then I'm gonna see what I can do about this. Stop. Deactivate. Back. One. Two. I'll take both of those, thank you. X glitcher. I mean, that's like something I 100% need right now. Um, what I should do is use that to make the get out of ship part easier. Open her up. Take it. What are you? A shotgun. It's funny how sometimes it'll do that and sometimes it won't. Stop. Okay. Blind. Okay, now leave. All right, all good, all good. So next step, uh, let's actually leave this base a bit more. Yeah. Next step will be, of course, ship three. We've got Subverter, we've got Stealth Shield, all things that should be quite handy. So we just drop this off. Stealth Shield also should be useful. Uh, and then we'll grab the extra wrench. Why not? Okay. So here, jam a gate autopilot. 40 seconds to escape. 
all seem like perfectly fine things to me. The biggest problem for me <laughs> last ship was ironically that I was just too greedy with the uh, crash beam. Okay, yep. Um, there's our target. So again, this is all going to be one open room, is my guess, because they always seem to do that. Um, this will be the entrance. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five. This will be the entrance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14. Yeah. So, he, like, it always seems to be that's your entrance. Like, there'll be that there. The question is, are we going to get a direct link between those two rooms? Hmm. I don't know. Let's just see what... Uh, Predictions can be made, and then, as a result, if I can improve my play by uh, planning beforehand. The thing is that most of the time that prediction is kind of irrelevant, because you get the option to pause once you hit the ship. Oh, that could have been perfect, and it was not. Um, Alright, so. Um, no, it was even, even shorter. This is a much more abridged section three ah that's because each section's four or three this is another three four three three four mm. didn't anticipate that there'd be a separate section for here all right anyway so we enter we throw things we leave throw things at you two we leave right yes uh, we might even use the stealth shield there um, we run through here, uh, we teleport to here, we teleport to there, and then we run out. Why not? Why not do it that way? We can use the stealth shield on here. Stealth shield. Chuck a wrench. You're gonna head toward me. Chuck a... Uh, actually, do nothing. and uh, cover our bases, eh? Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Okay. Now. That's less than ideal, but I guess we're sidewind here. No, not sidewind in this case. But you know what I mean. I had already actually planned that now I think about it. The plan was here. We sidelined. Then we not crash beam, not crash beam ran. Keep going. Still wish that you could do something cooler with that. Um now we sidelined. up then we dash this way Shoot. remote don't know what happened there did not have slow-mo engage all right there we go leave and you conveniently turn as well but still uh, a slow pickup. All right. Uh, maybe I should have uh, just crashed those guards as I ran through, and then I wouldn't have had the turn at the end. Still, I'm reasonably happy with that time. I had a really bad dock. Um, yeah, like I doubt I maintain first place in Story Calls yet to play, but otherwise, it's been pretty good. All right, let's take a quick look at the past week since we have now completed the challenges for the week. 
So today is the 24th, which means the first challenge would be the 18th. So on the 18th, I messed up slightly and I got a penalty. I uh, don't even remember what the penalty was for that one. Uh, yes, no, uh, it was uh, right at the end. I had someone spot me. I was four seconds ahead of Darry Quill. Uh, what happened is I failed to dodge the captain and that is what cost me because the captain was the one that maintained line of sight just long enough to shoot me out uh, shoot at me as I was leaving the ship on ship three that was frustrating especially since my time was better than DQ's ah, for fuck's sake I hate the way the uh, legends leaderboards etc work all right daily challenges previous dailies then the 19th how did we do in the end there Dari Quill beat us by a good 15 seconds case I beat us by seven that was just a daily where I made a bunch of mistakes that's what I remember about it is that just that like it just was unusually slow um, evidently we were avoiding alarms because I can see that that happened with King Redbeard but yeah all right previous dailies uh, now we have the 20th. 20th. Wow. That's such a big time difference. 15 seconds between myself and Dari Quill. I clearly missed an item there. Maybe that was the one where it turns out there was an extreme range swapper. No, that's a later one. Um, where, again, I... I think I end up with 22 seconds. I don't even remember what it was, but clearly Dairy Quill with, with a 15 second gap, there has to be something that he did that isn't just, I feel like it has to be something that isn't just tightening things up. I do think it was, I was running slower, but wow, I retained so little of these on the given day. Uh, all right. Now, here we go, the 21st, this was the one I was thinking of. So Dairy Quill beat me by, eh, interesting, wait. So here, no, 21st is, yeah, 22 seconds. Dairy Quill beat me by four seconds. One of the things that I saw from watching King Redbeard's run is that there was on the first ship, a uh, extreme range swapper, not swapper, sidewinder, which could have sped things up even further. Uh, th that uh, Redbeard grabbed. Um, one of the things that slowed me down here, and I mean, I'd say slowed me down the whole thing, took 22 seconds of game time, uh, is that I still need to work on swapping in from space in a way that captures the target. And I just haven't, I, I spent an extra four seconds mostly on those faffing about. And that is something that I just can't afford time-wise. Uh, all right, then we're getting closer to the present. Uh, so the 22nd was uh, another speed daily. This one, uh, other people also ran into this problem. Uh, so I wasn't paying attention on chip three. Turns out the shortest path to the window actually took me through a guard pod when I had assumed that it would take me around it. So I got shot right at the end. Derek Will managed to do that on the first ship, but it, it, it was a similar thing. He just missed that a guard was patrolling. Um, otherwise, I would have possibly end like I think I would have ended up in a similar kind of score as uh, King Redbeard or Sebastian Crab at um, at 470 uh, score wise. But uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll never see because I'm not going to go back and replay it and I'm not sure what that would really demonstrate either uh, and Then the 23rd this one was infuriating, right? Uh, oh, Evidently Derek will neither Derek will nor case it actually got Scott in because I Don't still don't know why it was and I need to review the, the episode but I still don't know why it was that the alarm went off on that one uh, because it crashed the people that had seen me and I didn't think that they were able to transfer the alarm state but evidently uh, they can transfer the alarm state in some situations and that sucks because you know 
had led to the alarm going off. And I was a good 50 seconds faster than, or almost 50 seconds, uh, yeah, almost 50 seconds faster than King Redbeard on that same daily. Um, and, you know, admittedly I have an unfair advantage because without Kset or Dairy Quill, I don't think there's anyone that's playing regularly that uses Dash Bash. Let's just take a better look at the top scores there. Only five people got through that without setting off the alarm. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely a tough one. All right, now, let's see. that, And that leads us to today, where currently... I'm in the top uh, place. It is a fairly easy condition, so we're going to have a lot of people that get perfect. But yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of how it goes. Alrighty. Well, that's it for this week. Hopefully I'll get this up on a Sunday. It takes a long time to actually render the long video. But uh, I'll see you next week.